I'm Sandy Lene. Welcome to Psychic Creations. We have a very, very interesting show for you today. We are going to be featuring Carol Clemens. She is going to be teaching a class on how to make these beautiful corn husk dolls. Thank you for joining in and please enjoy the show. comes down and starts forming that what? Yeah, the what? Like the head neck part. Oh, All right. Head neck out of this. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's going to be your head. I get it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> like more of the face part of it, pulling it down. And you want to pull it kind of tight, you know, up towards your knot as close as you can get it. take one of your more dominant that's towards the outside. This way you can go ahead and start like pulling it flat, like way out apart. This way you can go ahead and you can get the side that you want the like a face to be on.
Yes, now you're going to go ahead and you're going to take some string and you're going to go ahead and you're going to tie that off around the neck. That? Okay. <laughs> Four hands are better than two. We're going to tie this off. Huh? Okay. See how I took it and I wrapped that one right on around so you can use that as like more of a face. I did it. And then the closer you get towards the top of like the ring, like right here, that would be perfect for like the neck height, you know, for where the body's going to be. Okay. Still get these little cat ears. So. Well, this is just really cool. Starts getting a little bit more exciting because once you get the arms and the head in, then outward, then it's kind of neat because you're starting to see like part of the body kind of together. Uh, and it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Well, sure. Okay. Do we make we make two? I'm sure because we have both arms, so we make two. No, if you split it, we need one. Do we need one more? Split it, we need one. one. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the reasons. Kind of like this. Oh, I was gonna say these are awfully long arms. <laughs> okay. Cool. Now I did things a little differently because the lady thought that was really neat the way I did it because they leave them just tied at the end where it looks more like a stick. On this one here, I took the scissors while it was still wet, and I cut it and flared it out to where it looks like fingers, hands and fingers. So it made it look a little bit more Oh, cool, cool. Dollish, you know. Yeah. I, I gave it the hands, and she says, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> so, and then all it is is you're gonna take your scissors and uh -huh. you're just going to cut down into sure. oh wow you know may just make like little slits down on the smaller. end it does, they don't have to be that deep in okay or you can leave them just the way they are it's up all oh, of you cool i like fingers <laughs> Sit there and just flare them with your finger. Oh, okay. Let me know when everybody's ready for the next stage. Next stage. She needs clothes on. <laughs> Covers up a lot of flaws. That's all right. That, that, oh, that comes oh, on later. Hides back to the later. sins, doesn't <laughs> it? Oh, I like the green string on there. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, you want some? Ah, no, I got white and gray and everything else going on down here. Okay, cool. <laughs> Mine's lopsided. She only has one leg. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's all gonna get hidden. For skirt. That'll all get hidden. Oh, that's right. Well, what, what we're gonna do now is go ahead and set your doll aside for just a second. Okay. Well, big thanks. Cool. Okay, you go okay. first. Yeah. Grab one of your husks. What? Okay. Okay, what are we doing with this husk? Okay, this husk, we are gonna use it to make her shoulders. Just made her shoulders. So, shoulders? No, shoulders. Oh, yeah. a, a larger one or a smaller one? Um, it could be about medium size. Depending upon the size of the head of the doll, I would kind of coordinate to make it look about <laughs> right. Mine's got encephalitis, so I think I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, it does, yes. <laughs> I oh, will miss me sisters. <laughs> Cat going on over here. That's awesome. I 
I don't know. Those just popped up, and I guess it needs to be a cat. I don't know. Okay. Uh, There's nothing wrong woman. with that. <laughs> cat woman. Okay. Okay. So, I usually trim off the little little bit on the bottom, just that little tip. I trim this part off. Okay. About two inches. Yeah, that's good. I like that. How big? Yes. A big, big one. A big, wider one. one. The one to fit the head that would make kind of like the shoulder body head style more formal. It's up to you. Okay. Okay. Then it was easier for me to go ahead and like tear gently down the center, but you only want to go just part ways. You only want to like maybe halfway. It made it easier to do cut it because you're going to take your piece, hold it towards the back like this, where your doll is going to be like this. And then what I did was I went ahead and folded this part in and came down and crisscrossed over. And so you wrap from the back to the front is what you're saying? Wrap to the back to the front. This way it looks something like this, but of course you, oh, can, adjust, like you can adjust for a like a poncho. Line. Yeah, so it looks like a poncho. Okay. So we're going through the, the back. The back side. Oh, yes. I just ripped all the way down through. And then you put the hair. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like to usually hold her up around the neck. This way when I'm bringing this down and I crisscross. Okay, the, the short end comes down or? Either way, you can do either short end or long end. I have to do the short end because that's where the cut is, right? Mm -hmm. Tie it off again, and then you tie it off yeah, again. This is the critical point where I decide whether it's a person or a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Just really wants to be a cat. <laughs> well, it can be a cat. It's going to have a bonnet on, so you cover it up. Okay. Which side is the face better? It's a person. Oh, no. Speak for yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a person. I don't know what mine is. <laughs> I'll, I'll help you. I'll help you. Okay. okay. And then, see? And, and then now you have the shoulders okay. that go down into wow. the arms. I don't even see shoulders. On gotcha. It's all underneath. It's coming together. Oh my god. Oh my god. How cool. I'll help you now. Let me tie this off really fast. Or do you want to tie this and I'll do that for you? Well, I was going to try and do it myself. <laughs> okay. You know? If you want to, make that a little longer. And Pull it more up over the top, like take that, and then pull it down. Is this the back? This is her face, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> But then you need a little bit of length to be able to tie it off. Right, that's what that's where yeah. I was going. Well, grab a different one then. Yeah. To give it a little longer. Yeah. The next step yeah. is that you're going to need at least four. Mm -hmm. Some it. people use five. That's up to you. Tie it. It won't slip. Okay, this is going to be her bottom part. Your, this is going to be her flail or down. her dress or the part where you can make legs, legs or. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to leave it as a dress style, that's up to you. Do it like this. Okay. <laughs> Cat one. <laughs> Four. Huh? Okay. okay. That's right. Okay. With these, do you have like back and forth too, like you did for the head? Or just all layered? Just all kind of layered on top of each other. 
Make sure that these are all kind of even though towards the top. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the top. Yes, this is going to be the top. And it doesn't matter that they're not all the same width? No, no. Matter. It doesn't matter if they're the same width, the same length. It does oh. not matter. Okay. Okay. And so then what you're going to do is you're going to take, take your, you're going to go ahead and you're going to stick it up and around the tops of the body. Oh. And you're just going to kind of wrap them around the top of the body. You can stagger them, you can do, just try to keep that top part a little bit more even, because you're going to tie it off there again. How many are you using for that one? I'm just using like four. And like I said, you can leave it in bunches, it doesn't matter. That's what it's going to look like that. Oh, cool. It doesn't matter if they rip. does not matter. Well, th this is the part I'm going to show you afterward. That if you're going to keep it as a girl doll, when you're done, because you're going to go ahead, you're going to tie it off again around the waist once you get that all around there. Because now you got her waist. Okay? <laughs> Maybe. I love that. Maybe. Everybody's is looking so cool. In theory. <laughs> Says here in small print. <laughs> yeah, read the fine print. Mine's looking more like a pixie steak. Well, maybe you're making a pixie. Well, you don't. You don't have to wrap. Is it supposed wrap, to look wrap. like that? Um, like I said, you can do it any which way you want. You can stagger them. Okay. You you don't have to like totally wrap it straight on around. Okay. I take four of them and I kind of like gotcha. stagger and bunch a little bit, but you want to make sure it wraps around the whole body. Okay. Perfect. I gotcha. Perfect. Oh, wow. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you just kind of want to, you can bunch them up towards the top, mm -hmm. you know, because you're kind of, you know, that's why you're putting that big wide part towards the top of the doll. She's gorgeous. Yeah, you just love to dye her back. Elvira. Excuse me. Oh, that's good. That's good. Now, if you want her dress or her body to flare out, then you can just start ripping the sides up. Don't go all the way up, but you can flare it. Or if you want to make the legs, then you're going to kind of divide these in half. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. You can make gotcha. legs. I'm going to make legs with this one. And legs could be a girl or a guy, right? Mm -hmm.
Did you just hear a knock? Yes. Yes. Okay. Did you hear it too? Uh-huh. Like out there? Or? Uh-huh. Out there for you. Yeah. Well, come on in and join us. You got the recording on? Yes. Okay. It'd be interesting to see if it picked up on yeah, the camera. Sure. It did, because that was pretty loud. Oh, wow. It sounded like it was on that wall right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's nobody else in here but us. Okay, so now what are we doing here, Carol? <laughs> We're shredding it up? Or yeah, you, can, you can sit there and make, <coughs> make it shred going up. Like what you're going to take... Oh, that's you're going to kind of that. like rip yes. up a little bit, oh, okay. Okay. okay, and then you can start flare, flaring it out. Gotcha. I think I went the wrong way with these because they're getting very thin at the top. Oh well. Yeah, you can do small streaks, you can do big, don't have to be all the same. Yeah, see, just the way she did hers. So I'm oh, going to oh, that. <coughs> and that, and then so flick them scissors. the way you want to be flicked if they want them hanging out. If you want it to flare back. Or gotcha. Gonna do the look like okay. This is too cool. This is fun. I think I should have cut these so even though.
can make okay. a man and a woman. And then you have to match it to get them dressed. And then all the fabric oh, yeah, is over here, here and you yeah. can pick out whatever fabric that you want and dresses on, yeah, you can beads. cape on them, you can beads, you can... What would look good? Okay. And here are two of our finished products from these wonderful dolls that was expertly taught to us how to uh, to create from Carol Clemens. Big round of applause! Yay! Yay! Here, clap, 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 clap. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Psyche Creations. And if you would like to be a special guest on this show, like Carol Clemens. Please contact me at my website, which is www.sandypsychicstones.com, or at my web or my personal uh, email address, which is admin at sandypsychicstones.com. Again, thank you so much, Carol. You are a wonderful teacher. We made awesome dolls. Yes. Thank you for watching Psychic Creations, and we'll see you next show. <laughs>